The feet on a bathtub are called that because bathtubs used to have legs and they could walk around. This was a way for bath companies to make more money. If you didn't keep your bathtub locked up tight, it would run away and you had to buy a new one. Buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts. Fact number two. The feet on a bathtub used to have toenails that grew and needed to be trimmed like a human foot. Buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts. Fact number three. In the 70s, there was a TV show called Tubbin' Around. It was canceled after the first episode when the main guy drowned in the titular tub. Buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts. Fact number four. Just like Mother's Day was invented to sell greeting cards, the feet on a bathtub were shaped like feet to sell accessories like bath foot toe rings and bath foot shoes. Buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts. Fact number five. The Gulf of Mexico was actually the biggest, most ancient bathtub in the world. It was back when giants roamed the earth. Some jerk turned them all to stones and their there's still evidence of that today. Buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts. Fact number six. Showers were invented by Sammy Howers, a man who stubbed his toe on the toe of a bathtub's foot, and he dedicated his life to replace all bathtubs with a Sammy Hower original device. Buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts. Fact number seven. Most of my best childhood memories are in the bathtub because it was so well insulated that I couldn't hear my parents fighting. I'm Buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts. Fact number eight. Modern bathtubs don't have feet because of Sammy Howard's powers over the U.S. lawmakers. He never achieved his dream of destroying every bathtub, but he did just succeed in lobbying the politicians to make laws forcing the circumcision of every bathtub's foot. Buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts, buff nips, bath facts. Hey, is the bath guy okay? It sort of looked like he was drowning last time we cut oh god uh, i don't think i can finish all 10 facts i'll leave you with fact number nine and the 10th bath fact shall forever go unspoken to symbolize bath guy's untimely departure from this earth fact number nine is a poem about bathtubs i just wrote in memory of bath guy may your soul soak in the silver tubs of the sky bath guy Man feet, metal feet, the man and tub together meet. A scummy tub in which to scrub the meat of man's sore feet. Of man's sour stank and fragrant sweet. A mix of human sense amidst the mist of a humid senseless heat. We must all cave to the tub's embrace. As the blackened bath scuzz of human sin swirls the karmic drain. Rest in peace, bath guy. Come on, little friends, it's time to go.